When Jon Favreau went and pitched a Star Wars show to Disney Plus, he didn't know the Mandalorian would cause such a fuss. It made the minds of Star Wars fans collectively explode when they saw a tiny green gizmo in the first episode. Now the thought of Baby Yoda can't get out of my head. I think it's the greatest thing since the return of the Jedi. With the Ewoks are so tiny and Chewbacca he's so tall and a couple Skywalkers watching empires fall. He was just a bump on a log and then he started force lifting things while eating a frog. The fact that he exists drives the whole galaxy wild. He's got a lot of clout chasers for being a child. Anyway, he needs a buddy so we got this bounty hunter. He looks like Boba Fett before that Sarlacc took him under. Some bad guys gave him Beskar so he'd find that little dude but when he showed up with the prize he thought those jerks were kind of rude. So he took his bounty back from them now they're both on the lam. They've got everybody looking for the Muppet and that man. They came close to getting caught but with some help they got away. Now it's Tim Man and the Foundling because this is the way. He's even got a robot sidekick. Jawas eating fuzzy mighty rhino eggs will make you sick. He rides for Anasaurus Tadpole Cattle to protect his little friend. You know he's ready for battle. I have spoken.